Before we start, I think it's important I tell the context of why I did this video. Let Uncle Jake tell you a story. Back in the old days, 2018, 2019, when I was in eighth grade, middle school, obviously, you know. Firstly, I used to make really shitty Fortnite videos. Hey guys, it's Jake Plays here, change my YouTube channel name. And, but besides that, that's also when I found out about Kerbal Space Program. So, for the first time I tried to go to the MUN, I tried to launch straight up to the MUN without using any, like, gravity turns or anything, because I didn't know how orbital mechanics worked back then. So I just launched straight up. And I got close, but I, I never actually landed on the MUN doing this. I would just crash land into the MUN. So I wanted to see if I can actually launch straight up towards the MUN, pretty much, and then land, and then come back. Also, I try to do it as fast as possible, but not, like, speed running or anything. Honestly, the build is quite simple. All I did was I put a probe core and a chair on top so Jeb could control it. And then I put like a small landing stage to land on the MUN. And then obviously a way to get power. And after that, I started working on basically the deceleration stage. So my main idea was that I was gonna have a giant bottom stage that would launch me towards the MUN as fast as possible. And then I also have a big upper stage that would slow me down as fast as possible with enough fuel. So right now I'm working on the bottom stage. Um, so I basically went for a, a asparagus staging setup where each fuel tank would would fuel the next one and then just drop off quick so it'd be like as efficient as possible. Because I was trying to get through the atmosphere as fast as I physically could. But low key, a little bit of, well, this is a spoiler for you. This is kind of overkill. Anyway, we have to wait for the mun to be overhead. It's currently not overhead. And to see Jeb like on the top of this thing. <laughs> He's so screwed. A little bit more. Okay, I think it's overhead. Pretty much overhead now. Pretty much. Yeah, the target node is almost on top of us. Oh shit, let's try this thing. Jeb might burn up in the atmosphere. I probably should have put <laughs> a nose cone over him or something, but it's fine. Yeah, Jeb's gonna explode. That's a design flaw for sure. Yeah, Jeb just died. <laughs> okay, we need to try. <laughs> okay, we need a way to keep Jeb alive long enough for this thing to reach orbit. Honestly, a quick and easy fix. All I did was put like two arms over the over Jeb's seat that could decouple after we're out of the atmosphere that would keep him covered. This worked for the most part. Um, it kept Jeb alive. So that's all I really cared about was making sure Jeb got to space in one piece. And Jeb is not on the launch pad. Okay. Jeb, why are you not in your seat? Why are you hiding from me? Let's do this. Even with the heat shields, I had to slow down for a few seconds or else it would have still blown up. What is overheating? I might miss. <laughs> I might miss. Uh-oh. Burn towards target. Fine, we got one more one more big stage left. <laughs> it's considered a rover. <laughs> oh no. Look at you, Jeb. Straight up. No gravity turns. We're just going. Wait, we're gonna get it. We're actually gonna hit it. Wait, hold on. No, we wait. No. Oh, we're off. Crap. Wait, because, wait. Oh, I didn't think about the moon moving. <laughs> wait, so by the time we get here, where's the moon gonna be? <laughs> Come on. Ooh. Almost a fourth of an orbit away. Well, um. You know that old saying? What goes up? Must come back down. Here we go. Jeb! Jeb! No! Oh, he's actually still alive. 
What? Jeb just tanked that? How did you... How? How did you survive that? No heat shield, by the way. There's not a heat shield in this thing. Jeb, you really are the MC of this game. Like, genuinely, you're the main character. I, after that, I, I can't even argue with it. Okay, so we need the Mun to be... Like, right here. Okay, well... I don't know if we're, we're going to reach the Mun. It might be... I might have messed it up. I'm going to try it, though. Oh, it's daytime. Sick. I can actually see. This launch is pretty much identical to the last one. So pretty much all we did again was just blast through the atmosphere at blazing speeds and tried to basically just intercept with the Mun shooting straight up. Oh, wait, crap. We're actually going to do it. Great. It's going to be nighttime, bro. Are we serious? How long is our travel time? Four hours. <laughs> is it a Mun mission? Usually like three days. We're going there in four hours. Just straight, just blast straight up to the Mun. Why can I not see it? Oh, this is, I see the entire dark side of it. Oh, great. Yeah, we're going in. I guess we're, we're just waiting to fly into the Mun now, I guess. Wish it was daytime. Can't see anything. We're actually not even going as fast as I thought we were. We're going 800 meters a second right now. Not even bad. And since my brain is the size of a peanut, I, did, I decided to wait until like the very last second to start my burn, which looking back, it was a really dumb idea. Uh oh, we're coming in really fast. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Jesus, I can't even see what happened. After trying again with a different trajectory of the moon, I wanted to try to land somewhere in the daytime so I could actually see. So I kind of went back and I tried to change where the moon would be. Uh oh, wait. Oh, huge. Hold on. There we go. We'll land like in the daytime, I think. Yeah, well, we're going to time warp to it. So yeah, cool. Worst thing that happens is that we die. So, you know. Actually, we don't die. Worst thing that happens is that Jeb dies. There we go. Okay. I think it's like five years to turn, but it's fine. <gasps> Ooh. Yeah, let's start burning now. Maybe, okay, maybe a little too soon. Maybe a little too soon. Yeah, we burned way too early. Now we're just going really slow. Whoops. Yeah, so past me would would um, fly into the mun like this, but then he'd deploy parachutes and then try to slow down with parachutes and then be confused why they don't deploy. Um, that was the whole thing. That was so stupid. It's one of those quirks of when you're younger, you're just really dumb. Like comically dumb. You know, through that stage. We don't even need it. We got Jeb now. Oh yeah, Jeb, we're looking tough, bro. This is, this is an aura craft. You have 16 balls. You probably more than that after you just tanked the orbit without a heat shield. In a chair. <laughs> it was in a lawn chair and just tanked like 3,000 meters a second. And boom. Oh yeah. Jeb, you are my goat. You did an amazing job. Oh yeah. With Kerbin straight ahead. Dude, that was a four hour, like a four hour flight. <laughs> it's like, a, like an airline flight to the moon. That's so tough. Well, on our flag, of course. So Aura. Oh yeah, Jeb, you're so cool. Um. That was low-key actually pretty easy. Just straight shotting to the moon. Not even hard at all. I over-prepared for it. Let's see if we can get Jeb to survive re-entry again. Well, how much we have? 1,300? Yeah, we can, the, we can get back to the crew with that. We can't straight shot it, though. Actually, well... No, no, we're not going to do that. Wow, this thing is powerful. <laughs> what the fuck? Like, we just zoomed away. Like, <laughs> lickety-split. That was... Hilarious. Yeah, please don't explode over the KSC and die horribly. I mean, like that traumatized poor Valentina back at home. 
I'm going to use my fuel to slow down as much as I can. Wow, yeah, that, um... Hey, they got us some extra fuel because <laughs> it blew up. <laughs> got us some extra Delta V. Coming in pretty hot. This craft is very tiny and does not have any heat shield or anything that really makes a lot of drag. So this, like, descent was very, very slow. We just very slowly skimmed across the top of the atmosphere for, like, five minutes. Just at the verge of blowing up, but not blowing up. Drilling through the atmosphere. Very slowly slowing down. Oh, wait, there we go. It's picking up. Oh, wow. Yeah, we're picking up now. Oh, yeah, look at that. Good job, Jeb. Everyone at the KSC is cheering your name right now. The man who went to the moon and back in three days with a lawn chair. <laughs> yeah, so it's three days. I think for like a round trip, it's like, what, like a week in game? We, it took us four hours to get to the moon. That was a lot faster than three days. I think we might have to leave our lander with our one leg. One little strut. What a beautiful day, though. Look at this. This is a nice day. Here at Kerbin, bro. Like, Jeb, we might go to the beach and go for a swim. Right off the coast of Kerbindia. We're going to have a nice little drop in the ocean. I want to aim for that right there. I'm going to try to land Jeb right there. Yeah, I thought after, you know, three days of being strapped to a chair in space, I thought Jeb would appreciate a nice little beach vacation to celebrate his successful mission to the Mun. Oh, yeah. All right, Jeb, take it gently. Take it gentle. Look at that. What a beautiful day at the beach, Jeb. What an amazing time. Did you, did you have fun this mission? I hope you had fun this mission. One. Hey! That's quite a good landing. But yeah, that was, that was it, really. That was just... It wasn't anything crazy. It was just a simple... Simple challenge. Just wanted to see if you could just straight up launch a Kerbal straight up at the Mun and then land and come back. But yeah, um, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And I hope you have a good night. All that stuff. You know, all that, all that good stuff.